you ready, Rob? I'm ready if you guys are. Uh, all right. So just tell us, um, just describe what kind of player uh, you are and how can you help Buffalo reach the ultimate goal? Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say one of the biggest aspects of my game is versatility. I've played multiple positions on that. You can look back even two years ago, I was playing wide receiver, tight end, fullback. And overall, that helped my football IQ. So then last year, growing up, left guard, just helping solidify the offensive line. Then hopefully come here, bring all the aspects I brought to Dallas on it here and Hopefully, solidify this group and take it to the next step. Oh, tremendously! All that. Um, last year, I was a little like I wouldn't say concerned. All that. I've never played it before. All that going in, but week after week, just playing there consistently. Consistently, I feel very comfortable. Like I would say, before last year, I was always like right side more, and then last year, playing the entire year, very very comfortable on left side. How much did uh, Ryan Bates get in your ear about joining him here? Uh, a little bit. Like, we just happened. So, last week I was in Hawaii and all that vacation. And just, we text every once in a while. And I just text to see what's up and all that. And, like, I've always thought, like, last year, all that, I was like, if there could be, like, a dream team, like, where I could go, Buffalo was always at the top of that, just to get back up north and all that. And I just texted Ryan. I was like, what's Buffalo like? All that. And he couldn't have enough good things to say about it and all that. And then, next thing you know, here I am. Are you aware he's known as Rick Bates here? I've heard and all that and all that. I've called him worse things in college on it, so maybe Rick will be a little bit nicer. So what do you like? What did you, when your agent said, told you initially that Buffalo could be interested, what did you like about the idea of Buffalo? Uh, one thing, it's close to home. Both me and my fiance are from Pennsylvania and all that, so it's close enough to home that people could come and all that, but not come unannounced and all that, so that's nice and all that. Um, there's going to be a lot of people from my family here and all that all the time. Like my family made the drive and flights down in Texas. They didn't miss a game at all in Dallas. So be prepared, Bills Mafia, for a lot of McGovern people here. Do you, uh, you know, the impression is last year, I mean, every guy plays a little banged up, but you, you had some banged up. I mean, you just started like the first, the opening game, the, like the first Play series, seven, you yeah. had a high, uh, high ankle sprain. So. Yeah. Was there, did you start to feel decent? How was the elbow? Like, was it November uh, before you were like, had all four limbs in place? Oh, uh, uh, when I felt good, uh, wasn't the season end and second week of February. No, but after the bye week, like that was when I finally start using my like ankle to like, I played a couple of weeks where I couldn't plant on my right foot, but just had to play through it, brace it up. We're good to go. Uh, you could see all my pictures. I have my elbow brace on, I like, came and extended my arm out fully and all that. And I know this year coming off working with my PT and all that, um, being 100% and I can only take a step forward. How hard was it for you to leave Dallas and what did you learn from that organization? Uh, it, was, it was hard, all that. just the relationships I made and all that, me and my fiance and all that, just how close that team was and everything I hear that this team is extremely close, that makes me excited and all that. But just how the older guys in that room uh, really took me under their wing and just taught me the game of football and how to play. And I'm excited to bring that here. Ask, like, what did Ryan tell you specifically about the Bills or being on this line? Or what, what did yeah, he Yeah, he was telling me it's uh, like a really close-knit group, especially no line, but just the uh, locker room in general. And, all, and then when I walked in there, they have all different games and stuff in there. And I was like, what is going on here? And I was like, this just looks like a fun time. So you were next to, you played right next to him for two years at Penn State? Uh, so we played a little bit together. Um, so my freshman year, I played right guard and all that. And he started at left guard and then went to left tackle. And then the next year, he stayed at left tackle. I stayed at set, I moved to center. And then our junior years, he went to right tackle and I went to back to right guard. So we played just about our entire year together there. Were you a roommate with him? Or I was not, no. But we live really close together. So there was a, a development back at Penn State and all that. And there was a couple guys on the football team that lived in the area who was right across the street from me. Bill say that they see you fitting here as a right guard, and we know you play fullback and tight end as well. So, you know, where do they see you fit? You yeah, know? I think the fullback and all that, that's retired right now, but left guard mostly. Yeah. You mentioned playing center a lot at Penn State. How much did that help you when you did settle in at guard, just sort of having a full landscape? Um, that helped a lot and all that. Um, I always grew up playing center and all that, like all through high school, and then I got to college and switched to guard. So that was a little transition for me. Going back to center was nice, and then. When I got to the NFL, switched to guard and all that. It was a little like strange not having the full football in my hand, but it was really nice. And then just continually growing with it, and then playing all the different positions helped me tremendously. And then when I 
had to play center a couple times last year. Just the football cue I learned from playing all the other positions helped tremendously. Do you know anything about Aaron Cromer? Uh, just a little bit. I also just only heard good things. Ryan talks about him all the time. Uh, I met him a little bit earlier today. Joe Philbin, we're playing for him. What did you think of that? Uh, Joe is a great coach. Uh, very fundamentally sound and all that. Like, watch different aspects of the game and all that. So I'm excited to see how their philosophies like interchange with each other. If they're a little bit different and all that, I'm excited to see that. Which game in the locker room were you most excited to see? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what was it? Which game in the locker room? Oh, that's easy. What spike ball? Uh, yeah. So you know, you're going from Dak Prescott to Josh Allen. Just just let us know, you know, what is what? How excited are you to be playing with uh, Josh? Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, he reached out to me the other day and uh, just seeing how excited he was that, uh, for me to be here and all that. But I'm excited how mobile he is. Just move around the pocket. His arm is just incredible strength. I'm excited to block for him. Now, we know players recruit other players, right? So what's your relationship with Ezekiel Elliott? Because, you know, he's on over my head. I can always talk to him if you want to. Was your playing weight last season 3.8? You're listed at 3.18. What did you play at? Uh, I play – I'm very consistent with my weight. Like, very, So my weight, we had, like, different weights that where you had to weigh in at. Every week, weigh in right at 3.18 on Thursday, and then I play on Sunday at 3.23, and then I drop it back during the week. So once I have my weight, that's where I stay, try to be very consistent throughout the year with it. You did mention that, you know, you got your eyes on left guard. Um, so have you spoken with Dion, and what are your impressions of Dion? I have not spoken with Dion, but I'm excited to. I've heard really good things about him. You're only 25. I mean, obviously, your first season was lost to injury. Do you feel like you're still your strategy like a yeah. you uh, little bit like I still I know I have not hit my potential yet and all that. I know every year just keep getting better and better and better and I know like since my first year I was on IR then second year there was COVID and all that so no OTAs no uh, training camp got pushed back no preseason all that so just went into that season cold and all that and then finally last off season was my first year I could build a baseline and all that and then this year just all the numbers I'm hitting right now like I know like how well I played last year, I could just take another step forward just off these baselines alone from this offseason.